Hello everyone and welcome back to the continuing adventures of Mora and her wonderful pal, Cam Val. And today we're going to end our time on Caravan in a amazing way. We're going to do that right now. I'm telling you, Overseer, it cannot be done. I went into the tomb, I saw the Dashard across the chasm, but I could not get to it. But the map, the map. Lord Zash is adamant she will not take an apprentice without the map. I'm telling you, Lord Zash wants the impossible. No one is ever going to get that map. Sorry I'm late, but I have the map. The map? And the Dashard? Get that monster out of here this instant and give me the map. No, it's not possible. You wretch, you filth, you must have cheated somehow. How did you do it? How did you release the monster? I'm not a monster, I am Kim Fowl, servant of Tulakur, devourer of rebels and Yun and Kabash, consumer of the Drummond system, and now I am hungry. Right. You... you must have cheated. You must have. You'll pay for this! Fawn, patience. You will have your chance at this whelp after you personally deliver this map to Lord Zash. I worked hard for that map, and I'll kill both of you if I have to. Protest all you want, slave. You'll die the same. Hurry, Fawn. Don't go anywhere, Fawn. Lord Zash. Yes, Fawn. Now, where's my map? Here, Lord Zash. Right here. You found it for me, Fawn? How wonderful. He couldn't have found it if he tried. Silence! Fawn will tell me what happened, won't you, Fawn? You wouldn't dare lie to me, would you? Because it would be a shame for me to discover that you lied to me. Now, one more time. Did you bring this map back from Nagasado's tomb? I, uh... I... no, no. No, I, I didn't. I, I didn't. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. Hagen, you fool. In any other group for any other lord, this young man would have torn the other acolytes to shreds. What were you trying to prove? That you could outsmart me? That you knew better than me what kind of person I wanted for an apprentice? You fool! There's your pet, Harkon. Clean this mess up. Apprentice, meet me in my chambers upstairs. As you say. Nice. This is not the end. Without Lord Zash to save you, you're nothing. I have connections that will hunt you wherever you go. Just face it. Your star is dead. You're nothing. Get out of my sight, slave. Your new master is waiting for you upstairs. Ah, I should have killed him. I wish I could kill him. I really do. She's waiting upstairs, but we have something to do before we close this out. And that's going to be to go back and see Sharoon and put him out of our misery. I'm going to take care of that right now. She's going to give us some fun things to do, which is going to be mostly to go meet her over on Dorman Kass. How things have changed. How long since my master's death. I wish I could tell him. It's thousands and thousands of years, right? Well, at least we're at 15. Yeah, we're going to close this one out real quick. Go back. Close out this wonderful world and get the hell out of Dodge. And let's see where we can go. A lot of dead things here. Alright, Sharoon. 
here we go. I'm sure you'll find it satisfactory. What the hell? Don't say thank you or anything. Alright. You just need to learn to deal. We killed him. Okay, good. Let's get out of here. Go back, talk to her, and get off this rock. We are level 15, just from completing that. We should be... I think by the time we meet up with uh, Lord Zash, when we're on German Kass, we should be around 16 or 17. She's just happy to be out of here. And I honestly think Lord Zash killed the wrong person. She should have killed... Should have killed the Overseer. Just a ton of people in here. Look at this. Alright, so we have to go upstairs to meet her. You know what? I, I, I wonder what makes it do that. Is this the way that they heat this place? Or is it the big giant ice cube that's evaporating? It's one of the two. Okie dokie. Sorry about that, folks. Working for Apple, my phone goes off all day long. All right. Let's go over here and just get what as many of these as we can. Static you? barrier. Oh boy, we just are not going to have enough. We are not going to have enough room here. Be gone. I'm going to have to worry about this. God. Two bars are not enough for people. That's one thing they should fix. See what I mean? There are places for people to sleep. This looks like an Imperial agent's place. We can see. Where are you, Lord Zash? Lord Zash is all the way down here. Good. We're in. Whoa! She was running right next to me for a bit. Here she is. Ah, my magnificent new apprentice. She really likes me. Congratulations are in order, I believe. Thank you for giving me this opportunity. You've earned it, my apprentice. Now, I was just looking over this astonishing map you brought back, and I can tell we have a lot of work ahead of us. Murder and mayhem await. Patience, my apprentice. We must go about this with tact. All in good time. You must meet me on Drummond Cars. There we can talk more. Okay. I get her. Dromund Kars. Got it. I will meet you in my chambers in the Citadel in Kars City. There we can speak more freely of the work ahead, without the fear of unfriendly ears. This is the lightsaber I had as an apprentice. I want you to have it. I'd really like to build my own. I really would like to build my own. And what a fine weapon of murder it is. I've always wanted one of these. Excellent. I'm glad you like it. It served me well. 
Now, remember, my chamber's the Citadel, Drummond Chaos. It's imperative that we get to work on this as soon as possible. What's up with my outfit? Did I accidentally take my pants off? Somebody's waiting for me. I don't like what's going on right now. Stop right there, slave. Darth Scotia has a message for you. Who is this Darth Scotia? Darth Scotia is Lord Zash's superior, and your worst nightmare. The message is this. You will not go to Drummond Kars. Everything you've done here, everyone you've dealt with, Lord Zash included, is insignificant. Darth Scotia has eyes and ears on Korriban. He knows what your master is up to, and he is displeased, to say the least. On Korriban, Lord Zash may have her way, but on Drummond Kars, it's a different story. Uh -oh. So you see, you have to die. Kemp, what is it you do to force users again? I consume them and spit out their bones. Autosin, is that a Dashard? Maybe this isn't such a good idea. Coward! Fight, you fool! Alright, so we can't fight just yet. We have to do a couple of things. Okay, first off, we have to accept this. So we have to pick... Don't like that one. I'm going to go with that one. I like him being green. So I'm going to go with that one. I get all this stuff. Then I got to do this. That goes in there. Apply it. Then I take this on. Then I open this. And this. And I drop this in here. My subscription permissions. Well, we learned something really quick. I am too strong for all of you. We're not using our... That's it. We didn't even use our lightsaber and we still killed them. Alright, we're going to Dormund Kass. Let's make this a nice trip. Okie dokie. We're going to get out of this place as quickly as we can. At this point, she knows that she has to be with uh, Lord Zash to protect her. And if you notice, my legacy... Here is my legacy... I guess you call it legacy XP bar. So I'm feeling kind of like, oh my god, I just gotta get out of here. I just killed people. I need to go. But now we're gonna come over here. We're gonna complete this quest. Which is the second piece of what we just did. Then we're gonna open this up. Put this piece into it. And apply it. And we got it, okay? Alright. Um... Alright, let's go over here and let's get rid of some stuff. Do you require medical attention? Okay. Be well. And then let's get off this rock as quickly as we can. I did somehow lose my pants. But we're gonna fix that where we're going. We're gonna fix that rather quickly. So the first step is to get off this rock and go somewhere as quickly as we can. Now, because we're on Korriban, there's no big starport, so we have to go either up to the space station, which is not too far from here, or we have to go up to a fleet. And I think we're going to go to the Imperial fleet next. Because we don't have our own ship to get up the space station, obviously. So we're going to come over here. We're just going to bid farewell to this godforsaken place and go. So we're going to go to the fleet. Now 
there we go. We got off Durman Kass. We got another one of these things which we don't want. Gone. And we're going to come through here. Go upstairs. Get on one of the quests. Try to figure things out just a little bit. Now we can just subscribe once, but I'm going to try not to do that because I think the idea of most of you subscribing is probably slim to none. We have a couple of things that we could do here. Introduction to, introduction to Warzone, crafting trainers, and introduction to group finder. We'll do that one. That should be fine. I don't want to do PvP on this person. Let's see, which way are we going? Stronghold and crew skills. Good. I want her to be an artificer, which means that she'll be able to make uh, power crystals. Or, yeah, power crystals. That's what I want her to make, power crystals. Well, light crystals. Synth weaving, cancel. Armor tech, cancel. 16 already, just by doing this. Bow cam, cancel. Artifice, train, and then what we want to do is we want to click here, and we want to see what we need. We want to pick up the ones that go with this, so it's going to be archaeology and treasure hunting. Remember that. So we just need this one right here. He probably wants to talk to us. Yeah, he wants to speak with us. All right, so we've seen all the crew skills we can get. And then we're going to come through here. What did it say that we needed again? That's a good question, because I didn't keep my mind on it. It's treasure hunting and archaeology. Scavenging, close. So we cannot get multiple at all. I think a one-time... Yeah, we're not going to have crew skills. That sucks. And then we just click on him again. We click on one of these people again to close it out, right? Did we already close that out? Crafting trainers. Well, we have to interact with our trainer. So that would be the artifice person. And that gives us what we were looking for. Okay. I'm thinking that between this and the next episode I'm probably gonna wind up subscribing just for one month just to unlock a bunch of things that would make life easier but that's a $15 cost we might want to think that one through yeah I will think that one through all right so somewhere over here is our there it is I don't want to join veteran flashpoints do I What does this want me to do? It says, click the group finder, complete a random flash point with group finder. So if I do solo, I can do the black talon. I just have to finish that one. What's over here? This is Galactic Trade Market. There won't be anything here for us yet because we just do not have enough cash. Not enough cash at all. But if it's the Galactic Trade Market, Companion Gifts, Guild Registry, what's the next one over? Supplies. 
and we're probably going to do one of the flashpoints. Let's make sure we get that done. Black Rose Syndicate, probably something going on there. Uh, there's flashpoints over here too. Alright, modification vendor. So 14. Or 16. So what do we want to do? We want an adept. We want a lethal. And I want a versatile. Not armoring. Hilt. Then I gotta see if I could open this up. It's plus four endurance. Plus four power. Plus seven crit. So we're gonna put that in there. It's plus eight, plus six. That will go there. Plus six. Plus four, plus five. That'll go there. That just gives us a little bit better. Stay alive. Now we can take one of our unlocks. I'm going to go to the cartel market, look at unlocks. Unlocks and sort by price. Wait, there might be things on sale. Oh, there are. Oh, we have 120 because we finished part of our part of our missions, so we might want to go here. One twenty for an outfit designer slot. I don't know. I thought there were places to get gear. Like adaptive armor gear. I thought that was around here. What is all this? Oh, this is all the tier 4 gear stuff. I thought there were places to get adaptive armor gear. Now we can do this flashpoint, which I think we should do. Because it'll give us some more blue gear. Blue gear that will probably be better for us. I'm hoping that the... What the hell's going on? I swear I saw laser fire. Skill mentor. Imperial agent trainer. Oh, these are the trainers. I thought there were adapted armor gear here. Bounty Hunter Trainer. She's just getting a sense for what's here. Sith Inquisitor Trainer. Oh, we have things that we can get. At last. A Affliction. Disciple. And Force Speed. We are running out of spots really fast. We're going to need another spot. Sith Warrior Trainer, but I think we're getting another bar with the next patch if you play free to play. So we might have to just endure. We might have to just do this, get rid of that. And we have Affliction right next to this. You might want to move that to here. I can't believe I don't have Chain Lightning yet. Let's lock it. And I'm just looking for adaptive armor. That's it. I thought it was here. We're going in circles around here. Just a place to hang out right there. Conquest, Planetary Conquest, Starfighter, Flagship Commissioner. Okay, that's probably for the guild. Wait, if we have a guild, do we have a place?
Alright, that makes sense. I still haven't found what I'm looking for. So that's a dark side vendor. I don't think we're even dark side one yet, are we? No, not really. And this is social item, companion gift. Companion gift. All right, I've got. What can I get for you? You can take this companion gift that doesn't do anything for my companion. Come back anytime. Really, I thought there was adaptive armor. Here's a speeder vendor. How, how much are the speeders? You won't find a better bargain. Ten thousand. Ten thousand. Can I buy it? Oh, great. Come back anytime. You know what? I can see that they push you to absolutely become a non free to play event, you know, player. To be a subscription player or preferred. Hmm. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I'm absolutely lost in this. There's a couple of things blanking over here. This over here, galaxy map is blanking. I don't have a ship. This is blanking because of my legacy. Oh, I have to create a legacy surname. Oh, that's not gonna... Azure Mist. No, we don't want that. Azure Dawn. Alright, let's look at it now. I guess it has to be one word. I think that's good for me. Let's go to Y. And that's it now. Now we have a family tree. And we just say here. That's our family. Alright, so Imperial classes, Republic classes, species, other datacrons. We have two datacrons. From Korriban. We have a bunch more to collect. We will work on that as time goes on. There's Adaptive Gear Vendor. How did I miss this before? How did I miss this before? What can I get for you? Alright, we want to see. I think the Acolyte's lower robe and stuff. I think this stuff is going to be fine for us. Let's look at it. We're going to lay a bunch of this stuff in where's the robe acolyte slash acolyte's vestments no i don't like that at all all right let's see blade tyrant this one might be it Oh, that just, that's weird. That's just weird. That's just weird. This Grand Inquisitor. Oh, look at them. They're 2500 a piece. We only have 10. We can only buy four pieces. So we should just look at the four pieces. I think I like this one. <laughs> And then the boots. 
and the gloves. And we can keep coming back for these pieces over time. I don't know if I want it, but it don't look bad. How does that change when you go to an initiate? Yeah, I like the grand. Yeah. Saber master. We're not a saber master. Sith annihilator. Annihilator? Nope. Don't want that. Sith archon. That's pretty amazingly. I don't like the shoulders. It's like I'm going to take off. Supreme Inquisitor. Oh. Supreme Inquisitor's leg wraps. Oh. That one might be it. Purple one was sexy, but I think this one's it. So we're going to do Supreme Inquisitor's leg wraps. Supreme Inquisitor's Robe. That brings us down to five. And we could always come back here every now and then by more. Because this gives us some time to put things in those two. Come back anytime. Yeah, let's do that. And then let's come over here and just load these things up. And we want two of these. We want two of the lethal mods. And then we want uh, two versatile armors. That was a lethal mod. And this one. So she is getting herself all situated over here. Let's close Hello. this out. Let's see if these are actually better. They are. Alright, oh, that's her. I want to get gloves now, I think. I think I want the gloves. I think I want the gloves. You won't find a better bargain. That was the Supreme Inquisitor, right? Supreme Inquisitor's hand wraps. And I think gloves have all the spaces that you could put things in. They do. Good. Then we need to open sir, you. Everything here is inspected and battle ready, sir. We need that lethal mod and I'm going to do the regular resistive armor in this one and it leaves us with 1400 which I'm good with sell some stuff. That's 40 credits, 335, 335. And what are we at now? 2188. I think we're fine. We'll buy the rest of this armor later. And it does somewhat look better. Yep. I'm going to break this video in two because the next piece of this is actually the Flashpoint, the Black Talon. That's essentially our ride from the Imperial Fleet over to Jorman Kaz. So you do know the drill. If you do like the episode, please click the thumbs up button below. Continue to leave your comments in the comments section. I really enjoyed 
reading them and I'm going to do a video where I just answer a bunch of your questions and comment back on some of your comments. If you do subscribe, please click the notification icon because you will be notified of all my upcoming videos as they are released and it really does help the channel grow. And don't forget about my Patreon over at patreon.com forward slash Batgirl. There is a link at the very end of this video. And with that Tell said, you all be safe out the there and I I've will talk to you soon. Yes, sir. Good to have you aboard. I'm Lieutenant Silas, second in command of the Black Talon. We're your ride to Drummond Cass. I'm sure the ship will suffice. How long until we reach the planet? Shouldn't be more than a day. 